As some states take steps to reopen, the race is on to ramp up testing for coronavirus across the country. Since late January, more than 4.6 million total tests have been performed, but some experts say more than 5 million tests per day are really needed to safely reopen the economy by summer. Tonight, Devin Dwyer takes a closer look at a new type of COVID-19 test that some scientists say could be seen as a bridge to nationwide screening. Some scientists are calling it a COVID testing breakthrough, a supervised but self-administered test for coronavirus from a sample of your saliva. Experts say if done properly, it could be as effective and much easier to perform than those intrusive nasal swabs by medical workers covered in PPE. If you think about the opportunity around saliva, it can change the game. It's low risk. It's it's a different set of, of supplies that are needed. ABC News got an inside look at one new oral fluid coronavirus testing lab in the nation's capital, a facility funded by the U.S. Air Force to test thousands of military personnel. Biotech startup Curative flying in the equipment from California, setting up the lab to test saliva samples in 24 hours or less. And that lab will be scaling to 50,000 tests per day of capacity over the next few weeks. Right now, the military conducts less than 50,000 tests per week. The Defense Department calling the $13 million project a risk reduction alternative to nasal swab testing and potentially game changing. We have the ability to expand our testing uh, capabilities to wider military populations, prioritizing the highest risk to forces and ensuring our strategic uh, mission assurance. If it's successful, experts say widespread oral fluid testing could greatly improve surveillance of the coronavirus across the U.S. So we really have to change the toolkit, and that's where we really need enough testing, tracing, and supported isolation to control the disease so that we don't see resurgences. So take the swab out of the packet. We took the test to try for ourselves. Now cough into your elbow deeply three times. Coughing into the arm to release fluid from the lungs into the mouth, then swabbing the mouth for 20 seconds. Make sure you're collecting all the places you might have some virus. The swab goes into a tube of preservative and then sealed in a bag for transport to the lab. The test must be supervised by a clinician, but with proper social distance does not require extensive PPE. There is work to be done to really confirm whether this approach is going to work well for the asymptomatic population. But as sort of a general availability of testing to have deeper knowledge into who has been infected, that will only help us in our fight against COVID. Saliva testing is already being deployed in New Jersey, where Rutgers University has partnered with private health care firms to roll out the kits at hospitals and drive through testing locations. While authorized by the FDA, the accuracy of self-collected saliva tests in general is still under review. In one study from UCLA, oral fluid and nasal swab specimens performed similarly when detecting COVID-19. But a third of infected individuals who swabbed their mouths without clinical supervision registered false negatives. So this isn't foolproof? No, no test is. I mean, we can't even get people to wash their hands for 20 seconds. It's not that easy. But still showing enormous promise. This may be a long-term model for how we could scale up a return to work effort across the country. For ABC News Live, I'm Devin Dwyer in Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.